let's try this again. George just called me and I was in the middle of rambling and I don't even remember if I got anything across. Maybe I'll just start all over. Um, I know it's been a really long time since I have updated, but I just haven't really had much to update about. But I I am feeling really anxious. I made a really big decision and I'm having so much anxiety over it. Uh, okay, so I currently live in St. Paul, Minnesota. And I don't fit in in the culture there. I, I've never fit in the culture in Minnesota. It's been a struggle ever since I've been there. Um, but I do like my, my options there as far as like, there's a lot of stuff to do. There are these beautiful lakes. There's lots of beautiful scenery. Concerts happen there. I mean, there's a lot to do. And I finally have friends. I have made some really good friends. And I love my friends so much. I mean, it was years that I was there without friends, and I finally have friends. Um, I'm, a, I'm originally from Oklahoma, and I hate <laughs> Oklahoma. I don't like it. But that's where I started school. And the reason why I don't have my degree now is because I moved away from Oklahoma to live here in Minnesota. And, um, and, and I really should have stayed and finished my degree like I wanted, but I am just so damn empathetic and I really need to work on being more selfish. Uh, because I'm not selfish enough. Uh, the person that I moved to Minnesota for, um, begged me to move earlier than I was comfortable. And, and so I gave up everything. I gave up my job and my home and, and school. Moved there, and then they broke up with me right away. But then I stayed, because I don't like Oklahoma, and moving is hard, especially with all my babies, and, um, and then I met someone, I met George, and we were together for four years, we lived together for five years, and, um, I didn't want to move away because I was with him, and then we broke up, but I had this job that I really liked. And then that job ended, but then I was with Kalyan, and he was there, and I loved him, and I really wanted to be there with him. But now, all of that is gone. And, um, I love my friends, but I really, really, really want to finish school. My brother gave me this great opportunity. I'm sorry, I'm like really emotional. Really emotional about this because I'm very scared. I'm having a lot of anxiety. But my brother gave me the opportunity to move to Oklahoma and live with him and go to school full time. And he's gonna let my babies live with us too. And um, we'll live together so I can go to school full-time and he's not going to charge me very much. Only $300 a month, including utilities for rent, which is amazing. I've never, ever, ever in my life had the opportunity to go to school full-time because I've always had to work full-time in order to go. Um, but I was talking to him on the phone and I said that and he said, well, you can live with me and then go to school full-time. You can finish out your final semester at your college get your associate's degree, and then we can both go to the same university and we can carpool even. So that's an amazing opportunity. I've never had that. And I feel like I need to take him up on it because I really want my degree. I mean, it's like a constant feeling of failure for me that I don't have it. So I'm, I'm so smart. And... I 
always thought it was a given that I was going to go to college and have my degrees. I wanted to be a doctor or a scientist. And I am doing these customer service jobs that I don't love. And, um, I'm sorry. I wish I could stop crying. <laughs> I'm just so emotional about this decision. I'm scared. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. But, um, I really wanted to talk about it. I need my channel so that I can talk things out. I haven't told my friends yet, and some of my friends follow my channel. So I'm questioning whether or not I should even post this because I really want to tell them in person. Maybe I'll post it after I tell them. Because I feel like I'm betraying my friends. I mean, finally made friends. Finally. And I have really good friends. They really mean a lot to me. Um. There's Meg, there's Saray, there's Miguel. Those three have been amazing, especially in the last eight months. And then I also have Steve and John. Really, that's about it for like friends who I actually see and, and hang out with. Uh, if there are others, I apologize. You're not coming to mind right now just because I'm so emotional right now. But, um, I am planning to move. And I'm so scared that I'm making the wrong choice. Because I do need to go to college and, and I feel like if I get another job, or if I meet someone, I'm going to delay it even more. So, because that's what keeps happening. Right now, I'm not working. And I don't have someone. So right now might be the best time. I mean, I can always come back. Although, given that I don't fit in in Minnesota culture, I don't think that I will move back. I don't want to live in Oklahoma. I'm thinking if I can stay there for maybe two to three years and get my bachelor's degree, maybe that will be enough for me to be able to just move somewhere else. I don't want to live in Oklahoma forever. That's not where I want to go and, and live until I die. Um, but I can finish school. And I can see my family. But that's another thing. My family is not healthy. I love them. But there's a reason why there's so much distance. Like we're not very close. And it's because it's a very toxic family. They're only okay in small doses. And I'm going to be living with my brother. I don't know how that's going to work. My brother's very messy. Very, very messy. And I don't think I'm going to be very happy living in a messy environment. It really drives me nuts. And I'm going to feel like I'm cleaning all the time and, and no one else is. So I have so many mixed emotions. I'm just worried that it's going to ruin my relationship with my brother worried that I'm going to be really unhappy and it's going to be an unhealthy environment. I'm worried that I'm not going to be happy living there because it's going to be so messy. I'm not going to be able to have friends over. Because I'm embarrassed by messes. I don't let people come over when we're in the place is messy. And there's nothing I can do to like make my brother keep his house clean. He says it's not as messy as it was the last time I was there. But he is really messy. So I don't imagine it's my standard of clean. But maybe all of that is worth getting my college degree. Maybe I can finally have it and stop feeling like I am. Um, 
less than I am. I don't know, it's so much to think about, but I already made the decision. I called my landlord. I left a message. I'm waiting to hear back from him. I asked George if he wants the duplex. He just called me back and said that he can't afford it right now. So, I am actually out of state. And I want to talk about that too. But, um, I'm visiting someone special. And I won't be back to Minnesota until, uh, a week from now. And that will only give me a week to get ready. To get my entire life packed up. And everything out. I'm feeling so overwhelmed. It's happening so fast. I literally made this decision like two days ago. It's happening so fast and I'm so overwhelmed. I just I wish I had confidence that I was making the right choice and that I would be happy and healthy. And I'm gonna miss my friends. And they have been my family since I've been in Minnesota because I don't have family. And then hopefully I can see Jocelyn one more time. I miss her. Her mom hasn't been talking to me since George got married. I don't think she's like mad at me. I just think Maybe she feels like she shouldn't. I mean, it's not like she's ignoring me, like, if I try to talk to her, but. And I'm going to have to go from living in a whole house with my stuff for a whole house to living in a room. And granted, the room that he's giving me is really big. It's actually a den, like a living room, but. That's such an adjustment. I, I want to bring my, my things and live a comfortable life. And the house technically belongs to our grandmother who is not good to me. So I'm really worried that that's going to be a problem too. I really hope I don't make this move and give up everything that I've got right now. And that's another mistake. I really hope I, that by doing this, I'm going to get my college degrees that I'm wanting. And I'm finally going to have a career that I want. Sorry. I had to take a break and blow my nose. Um, but I'm really hoping that after all of this, I will have my degrees and I can have a career that actually makes me happy. It makes me feel fulfilled. And that I'm not going to do all of this and move there and still not get it. I I will be happy that I'll get to see my moms. They don't visit me. And I'm especially worried about one of them because her health isn't very good. I'm always worried that I'm going to regret not spending more time with her. I thought she's going to die really young. I don't know. I just, I really need to talk this out. And I don't know who to talk to. And I'm sorry for another crying video. I'm just so emotional. And this visit that I, I'm doing right now started off really great. But... And we're hitting some bumps and it's not turning out the way that I had hoped. I am just feeling really emotional. I hope that this visit can turn around because it's probably my last chance to see this person. Probably ever. 
especially if this is it doesn't go well they probably wouldn't want to see me again. it's someone who's very special to me it's someone I love a lot <sighs> anyway that's my update I kind of feel a little bit better. I'm not crying. Like, before I did this, like, my anxiety was so high for the last couple hours. And I was on the verge of tears for a couple hours. And I really needed to talk to someone. And I thought, okay, why don't I do a vlog? I haven't done one in a while. Just wish me luck, guys. I'm really scared. I really hope this turns out to be a good thing. Love you guys. Bye.